Hey guys, welcome to Motoroids. Today we have something very special to show you. And as we know, lithium ion batteries are very popular, but we are always looking for alternatives. And here we have with us Mr. Gaurav. Hi. Hi. Gaurav Agarwal would be talking to us about this company called IOC Finergy or IOP, which is a JV between Indian Oil Corporation and an Israeli company called Finergy, and they specialize in battery tech. And I am as much as C as you right now about this tech, but I am going to have all my doubts alleviated, answered by Gaurav. So Gaurav, please tell us uh, what this tech is all about. Okay. So uh, in the present EVs, we are having lithium ion technology. Right. So there are some constraints in using that technology. One is the limited range that we are getting. So say for a hatchback, it's around 250 to 300 kilometers. Another is the charging time. So if you go for fast charging, it's say around one hour or so. And for the slow charging case, it's around six to eight hours of charging. So in our battery chemistry, which is aluminium and technology, so uh, it doesn't require lithium at all. We have a small lithium ion buffer okay. that I'll uh, tell you later on. Uh, it depends on the application. So uh, in our technology, like uh, the range is around that of a petrol vehicle. So in this Tiago, we have given a range of more than 500 kilometers. Okay, so this little Tiago, which in its current form, the Tiago EV uh, gives you a range of about 150, 200 kilometers. Uh, with this tech, we are saying that uh, it can be extended to up to 500 kilometers. So this single stack is having an energy of around 24 kilowatt hours. Okay. So we have three stacks in there. So 75 kilowatt hours. 75 kilowatt hours. But currently we are utilizing only 40 to 41 kilowatt hours for this prototype. Okay. So for the 41 kilowatt hours of energy, we are getting around 4 to 500 kilometers range. But if you go for the full stack, it can be extended up to a higher uh, kilometer range. It all depends on the OEM how much range. 75 is a lot yes, of kilowatt yes, hours yes. because if you have a low discharge rate, right, uh, then you can definitely extend it to 500 plus without 500 much problem. 500 plus, and we have demonstrated in Chennai, uh, 550 plus kilometer range on an electrical three wheeler. So, uh, is this a very new tech? Why are like you know what are the challenges ahead? Is this expensive to make as compared to a lithium ion stack, or this is is this less expensive? So cost wise, it's one third of. Uh, the lithium ion battery oh. which we are getting in market and uh, the running cost if we talk about it is in between that of lithium ion based EV and petrol vehicle. Okay. So initial cost is reduced drastically but the But why is the cost higher as compared to lithium ion uh, in terms of the cost of ownership? Uh, TCO is lesser than both the petrol vehicle as well as the lithium ion based. Okay, you're saying it's lesser than the yeah, the capital initial cost is less, but right. the running cost is slightly on the higher side. And why is that? Because every time we are going for new aluminium plates. So this is a plate in a fresh stack, and after 500 kilometers, this will be the thickness of the plate. Oh, so it requires aluminium to aluminium replacing. Okay. Replacing so where does the aluminium go? This goes to uh, our partner in Delco for oh, recycling. But this once this. Uh, aluminum plate is uh, utilized yes within the system is it like you know it, it, it's getting somewhere within the system or is it going I'll out I'll in the show you how, where exactly is let's it? go and see yeah. Please. so uh, these are the three stacks so once the stacks are depleted we'll replace these stacks at our retail outlets each stack is around 15 kgs okay and this is an electrolyte tank where the uh, reaction product will go. The spent aluminium. Spent aluminium will go. Okay. So this electrolyte, along with this depleted plate, will go to Hidalco's recycling plants, and we'll get back the fresh electrolyte and the aluminium plates. So the cost of one plate is how much? And uh, with one stack, I'll need one plate, right? With one stack? With every stack, there is a plate required for 500 kilometers. Each stack, there are 13 plates. Oh, okay. 13 yeah. plates. There are 13 cells in this individual stack. Okay, so uh, all 13 will burn at the same time. Yes, yes. All so within 500 kilometers, every plate will be like this. Yes. And what would be the replacement cost for the full stack? Replacement cost, as I indicated, it will be, uh, if we talk in terms of per kilometer cost, it will be in between that of a lithium ion based EV and petrol vehicle. But isn't there a number like, you know, if I want to replace the number plates on the entire stack, how much would that Actually, be? Actually, that will depend on the recycling efficiency. So we are in, like now, working with Hindalco to develop that uh, facility. So once it is in place, so we'll get to know the effective cost of aluminium. Okay. Yeah. So of course, uh, once we uh, uh, once we have once we have spent the aluminium plate, 
there would be some cost that you'll uh, get back also because you are uh, yes, yes, replenishing the aluminium in, in some form yes. or the other to the companies, right? Right. right. So it won't be the, the you won't have to bear the total cost, right? We don't have to bear the cost of new aluminium. That, right. that will be somewhere uh, lower and uh, in the range of uh, lithium ion based EV and uh, petrol vehicle. Understood. Understood. So, so that's one small disadvantage that you have uh, with this tech at this point in time. Uh, and does the efficiency of the system go down slightly as more and more uh, like you know with the life of the vehicle or efficiency stays? No, efficiency stays the same. For lithium ion battery technology there are a certain number of battery cycles. Right. So in this case every time we are replacing it with a new aluminium anode. So whatever is the life of your vehicle or this assembly so you are going to uh, it will be the same life for the battery. Okay, as so long as there is no it doesn't get degenerated at no, all. No, 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 nothing okay. is there. That's fantastic. The, the state of health of this battery remains same throughout the life. And uh, the the power capacity, as you're saying, is more than lithium ion. So for this stack, definitely you cannot store. I think uh, 25 kilowatt hour cannot be stacked in such a compact form. So the energy density is better. Energy density is better. So in a single stack, uh, it is storing around 24 kilowatt hours of energy. Okay. That's absolutely fantastic. So, why, when can we see any vehicles on the road homologated and uh, approved for use? By when do you see such vehicles uh, coming on the road? Like for some of the applications like e-rickshaw and uh, electric three-wheelers, we are in very advanced stage. Trials have been already been conducted. Uh, for this vehicle, we need to work with the OEMs for further improvement as per the Indian conditions. Right. So, maybe by this year and will be, uh, you can see the field trials. That's fantastic. And uh, another point I would like to highlight is the small lithium ion buffer. You can charge it on daily basis for your daily commute. Okay. So this is sort so the of stack a, also has a buffer. We have a small lithium ion buffer in the front. Okay. So uh, for the daily commute, you will not be consuming the aluminium. You can uh, use this vehicle on lithium ion for the first 30 to 40 kilometers. So this is a plug-in hybrid with aluminium air as range extender. Okay. Yeah. But it can run as the sole power provider also. Yes, that's yes, not a problem. Yes, yes. But because uh, like lithium ion we can go for home charging at a cheaper rate also. So uh, that will make daily commute a lot cheaper comparable to an uh, lithium ion based EV. That's absolutely fantastic and I really hope that this tech catches on so that you know we have another alternative way of uh, moving forward and thanks a lot for that very very insightful presentation. Uh, so guys that's that a phenomenal new tech being introduced at Auto Expo and it has to be one of the biggest draws of the show for me personally. Nobody is talking about it much but I think you know it should be, it should be talked about more. We'll bring you more such wonders as we move around and thank you very much once again and we wish you all the very best.